not only different styles, but also slightly different builds. Look at the height advantage for Julia Ottolino. It comes with a five inch reach advantage, but can she use it? Let's go to Joe Martinez to get it started. Well, five fans, we are set to go with our third quarter final tonight. One round this in the Bantamweight division. Introducing to you first, finding it at the blue corner, her background, Tang Su Do. At five feet, five inches tall, she weighed it officially 135 and three quarter pounds. In three professional fights, her record, two victories and one defeat. Finding out of Pittsburgh, PA, here is Hurricane Ho Chase. And across the cage stands her opponent, finding out of the red corner. A freestyle fighter standing five feet, 10 inches tall. She weighed in 134 and three quarter pounds and holds a professional record of one victory and no defeats. Originally from Chicago, Illinois, now fighting out of San Antonio, Texas. Here is Julia Chicago Adelino. And your referee in charge is Marcio La Selva. I know Hope Chase, who was born in 1998, doesn't remember a young Mike Tyson, but she has the same stare. I don't know if she's been watching on YouTube, but she has it down. There is the opening bell. As predicted, she starts very, very quickly. That's it. Incredibly intense. You see that awkward style, flailing the hands around, hard to time her head movement. Adelino playing the outside. Has the range advantage, has to stay behind the jab, has to use her feet. Chase is just doing a phenomenal job of cutting off the cage. She's doing a good job of, of not letting Adelino really create space. And she's cutting her off with those, with those hooks as she tries to circle out. Nice dip under that shot and she hurt her already. Beautiful job dipping under the right hand, came across with a shot of her own. That hurt Adelino. Now trying to clinch, maybe get this one to the ground. Good short elbows, that one hurt as well. Absolute ferocity from Hope Chase right now. She is on a mission. These are incredibly, incredibly hard shots. The Mike Tyson comparisons can continue with her style because she is unloading hooks on Adelino. And if you're Adelino with those long legs, you want to wrap up Hope Chase. She is very aggressive on top. Looking to isolate the left arm. Has to be careful here. Now Chase doing a good job of... Oh, man. Nice ground and pound. But remember, against Megan Cauley, she got in trouble, almost got arm barred early in that fight. Has to be very careful on top. She has a tendency to straighten her arms. She's doing a really good job of keeping her hip square, but man, the flexibility of Olina to be able to throw up that armbar. Oh! Isolating the left arm, going after it with the armbar. Hope Chase trying to keep pressure on, keep that arm from getting extended. She's got to watch if, as she comes back in to be able to... Now in triangle up. position. Not able to throw it up fast enough, though. Adelino showing she's dangerous from her back. She really is. If I was Hope Chase, I would stand the fight back up. She was obviously winning. Why sit in a position where there is the potential for that submission? Yeah, she might want to stand up and back out rather than try to land ground and pound it. End up in submission danger. You see, she has great stand-up, but making some fundamental mistakes on the ground, but keeping the pressure on. I think it's one of those things where she she believes she has Adelino wounded, doesn't want to let her off the hook. I think so, and I think too, having having a karate background, I feel like maybe she wants to prove that she has that grappling experience, and she is a legitimate threat on the ground as well. That's where pride may get the better of her. Because Adelino has had some success with the submission attempts, hasn't been able to secure anything, but has shown Hope Chase's vulnerabilities on the ground. Walking her legs up again. Chase doing a very good job, though, of nullifying those attempts. She's, she's, she's not letting her get that rubber guard. You know, she's doing a good job holding the head there and, and, and I can open a position, trying to force the legs open, be able to posture up and, and hit those strikes. Oh, and she backs up. Comes in with a big right hook. She is not backing off at all on the feet. She doesn't throw any jabs, she doesn't throw a lot of feints, it's a lot of movement, 
And then she moves in with power strikes. She does, but she's defensively, her off-hand protect is not there, and I worry if she's counted, that could be very detrimental for her. She's done a good job so far of slipping punches. Adelino a bit off balance. Beautiful hooks, and she's committing to every single one, Megan. She is, and as we went with the last fight, she has another round, and another four rounds potentially if she gets through this quarterfinal. How energy efficient is that? <laughs> Throwing 110% and everything but the kitchen sink into everything that she does. Yeah, if you don't get the finish, you're spending a lot of gas. Adelino, though, right now, not having any success at keeping Hope Chase back. Not effective with the jab, not effective with the lead kick, not good with the teeps. She's been having to deal with a close range fighter with a lot of power. Chase just seems to be reading those Hands looping up. hooks that Odelino is throwing at her. You know, Odelino is trying to switch dances and throw up some different looks, but Chase is just so relentless with her pressure. She's a little wide with her striking. I would like to see her kind of crispen that up, go down the center a little bit, make it less readable. But so man. far, she's sticking with what is working, and what is working is power shots in volume. Ten seconds left. Can't end fast enough for Julia Ottolino. Absolute domination. She had the Mike Tyson stare and the Mike Tyson hooks. Her power. That was the story of this fight. Hope Chase, the hurricane. You see where she got the nickname? Yeah, she is. That's, I'm, I'm very scared. She has an incredibly intense individual. I know we're not on camera right now, folks, but you just gave me a look like you are genuinely afraid, and that's a good thing. I really am. <laughs> that says a lot about Hope Chase. It really does, man. I, and I think that is just what is going to take her to the next level. Look at how dominant she's slipping those punches, coming over the top with those hooks. She's doing a do good job of, of throwing up her damage, creating space here. You know, Adelino, she had a hurt here. She did a good job of framing those elbows. So nasty. And just the constant forward pressure was just what set her apart. Adelino did throw up some submission attempts, though, but it just didn't seem to be enough. It seems like everything she threw was designed to hurt, and that's what it did. Joe Martinez has the decision. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after one round, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score it 10 to 9. Your winner, moving on to the semifinals tonight from Pittsburgh, PA, Hurricane Hope Chase. Beautiful job by Hope Chase. You talk about not just winning, but sending a message to the field. I think she just did that, Megan. Oh, I think she did. Oh, my God, look at that. <laughs> she can kick, too. She can kick, too. <laughs>